Resident Evil Village left us with a lot of unanswered questions, and one of those questions that le was left unanswered was why was the BSAA involved in the events of Resident Evil Village? Now, I'm gonna tie in another thought that I had while making this video, and that was the involvement of Jill Valentine and her involvement in Resident Evil 9, because either the plot point that I'm going to be talking about in today's video is either gonna be in a Resident Evil Village DLC or Resident Evil 9 as a whole. Now we're going to be talking about why was the BSA involved in the events of Resident Evil Village in today's video. I hope you guys definitely do enjoy. If you guys do, please drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and without further ado, let's talk about it. So in the game, and I'm going to be talking about spoilers here, I do want to uh, roughly give you guys a spoiler warning before I do mention anything. And I will be talking about, they're minor spoilers, but they are pretty huge in the involvement of the story. So I just want to let you guys know that, and it's on your own risk. So essentially, the BSA is involved in the events of Resident Evil Village. They they send bio weapons. The thing the thing that they're against, right? The BSA was founded by Chris and Jill Valentine, along with nine other members. And well, essentially, Chris left, and for unknown reasons. But in Resident Evil Six, Pierce does pass away and he dies. So that could have been a plot point. And Chris has probably suffered a lot just while being. A soldier in the BSAA so due to other reasons probably but that's my thought why he probably left the BSAA now he pretty much goes on to found uh, to found uh, the Wolfhound squad and those are the people that are in Resident Evil 8 the team that aids Chris um, while trying to take over the village and blow up the mega my seat now the BSA sent soldiers to fight and combat the bioweapons but those soldiers are bioweapons themselves you see in one of the cutscenes but um you do see the bsa a soldier and he is a bioweapon now at the very end of the game chris's own copy of a bioweapon is dead and it's in the chopper with him that's essentially what everyone thinks uh but it could have been a reused asset i just really want to preface that too now with all that being said right i've pretty much told you guys the involvement of the uh bsa now at the end of the game chris sets a point or he's pretty much tells them to that they're going to the europe bsaa location and the headquarters primarily and with that they're going to go talk or see the people in charge of the bioweapons or pretty much people who are sent these people and it's wolf hound squad that are pretty much going and we don't know what happens next we pretty much cut to the future where it's ethan's daughter rose going to visit his grave and uh, we get mention of chris in the cutscene, but we don't really know his involvement in the story now with all that being said i have a thought would Jill be very very likely to show up in Resident Evil 9. The leaks and rumors suggest that she is and I really do believe with a strong mind that she is going to be in the events of Resident Evil 9. Either being part of the BSAA and this is a thought that I've had. What if Jill is the one who sent the BSAA? Maybe what if she's turned rogue or she has her own pretty much her own methods of getting things done. Maybe this is a new way for her to re eliminate bioweapons. I, I thought, what if Jill was evil? That's just a thought that came to mind. That's just a theory. But no doubt in my mind that Jill is going to have a heavy hand in Resident Evil 9. Uh, rumors and leaks suggested that she will be pretty much important in the next Resident Evil game. And um, I don't know. I mean, that's pretty much all I really have thought about. You know with the bsa being in resident evil 9 and i really want to see their story further explored resident evil what the, the bsa was founded by the events of resident evil 5 you know with sheva you can bring back sheva that's just another thought they could bring back sheva alomar into uh resident evil 9 that's just another thought what if they add uh, that but like i said they have a lot of possibilities with uh furthering the story of resident evil 9 it's years away but I just really wanted to make this video and talk about it, make sure everyone's informed and, you know, have a discussion on it. Because I feel like she's going to have a heavy hand in this game and she's going to be responsible. We don't know if 
Jill is going to still be part of the BSAA. The last of the events that we see of her were in Resident Evil Revelations 2, I think, or it was Re Revelations 1. I can't really remember, but we haven't really seen Jill Valentine in, in all, quite a while. We've seen her in the reboot, or not the reboot, the remake of uh, Resident Evil 3 with her new face model and, and her new story. But there was a lot of good content in that game. Now, without further ado, guys, I hope you guys definitely did enjoy this video. And if you guys did, please drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.